don't put too much pressure under your eyes keep very light hands Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel then welcome to my channel. I am, my name is Hala Masood and I make educational beauty videos and this video is again about dark circles. Not dark circles in precisely, it is about under eyes and how to prepare your under eyes before makeup. I've seen a lot of videos where people talk about how to stop under eyes from creasing, how to apply the powder and all that but nobody talks about what to do before you apply makeup. Like obviously you do take care of your skin but what about your under eyes precisely? So that so what I do is I take care, I do a skin prep for my under eyes before I apply makeup because I have really dry under eyes and if I don't do that my under eyes go creasing a lot wrinkly and then the makeup just starts to come off so to take care of that you need to do skincare and uh, trust me whatever bring video I bring here is what I do in my normal life whatever procedure I learn whatever trick I do I just make a video on that so you guys can benefit from it too so I hope this video is going to help you all as well so without further ado let's get into this video but before that please do subscribe to my channel it's free to you guys but it's going to mean a lot to me it's going to help me a lot also do press that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified of any new videos that I make and I am also on Instagram guys if you want to go ahead and follow me there you will get to know me a little better because I share my daily things over there as well so yeah without further ado let's get on to this video then guys in order to prepare your under eyes for makeup I'm going to start with under eye gel pads I have this one which is spa scriptions I tore the top part so this is the spa scriptions collagen under eye pads these are really good so I'm just going to take I'm gonna take them and apply under my eyes for 15 minutes to begin with massage it a bit you know pressing it along so just leave them there for like 10 to 15 minutes until then I'm just going to chill have my tea and I'm just gonna browse do some online shopping so after 15 minutes I'm just going to remove them and ideally you should just go ahead and wash your face after this because this gel they say that you should just remove it but I'm just gonna wipe it with the wipe like a face wipe okay just clean it up it gave me such a soothing effect my eyes are loving it okay now um, I've done this and I've also cleansed my face using the micellar cleansing, wa cleansing water what's wrong with me this Garnier it's almost finished I need to buy more so now you can apply in hyaluronic serum gel uh, which can actually plump up your face and uh, just give it the right amount of hydration but I don't want to do that because I do have a very nice um, hydration cream a moisturizer which like really really like works well so I'm just not gonna put too much stuff on my face because too much stuff makes the makeup move as well so I'm just gonna use this makeup by makeup revolution hydration boost gel cream this is so nice it is lightweight and it gives the right amount of hydration it is so cooling when i put it on your my face so i'm just gonna do that it's gonna take some cream apply it on my face especially under the eyes remember that is the key you are going to give hydration to your under eyes this is how they're not going to crease as well they don't put too much pressure under your eyes keep very light hands but do apply moisturizer there as well you can apply any hydrating cream that you have any hydrating cream that suits you that works best for you i'm just applying what i have basically so yeah so because we are talking about eyes next step is going to be applying an eye cream under eye cream okay i'm not a big fan of under eye creams what i do is i apply oil to my under eyes basically uh, at night i apply borate seed oil that is from ordinary i have i will 
place a picture here uh, I just place it under my eyes or on my face because it gives perfect amount of hydration to be very honest uh, but when I'm doing my makeup I prefer to apply this this is a smaller uh, version of the CBD oil this is from makeup revolution don't take too much just gonna take like a tiny drop of it over here and just go under your eyes okay just massage it there nicely I'm just gonna wait 10 minutes for the oil to really soak into my under eyes like really the skin to really absorb it and then I will go ahead with the makeup it has been 10 minutes and now the oil has uh, quite a lot absorbed into my skin but if you see any additional oil like if you see that they seem a bit shiny oily just simply <clears throat> just simply take a tissue and just dab it don't wipe it too much just dab it a little like this and that's that eyes are ready for makeup application so i'm going to use this color corrector which is uh, the l'oreal infallible concealer pomade in peach and just going to blend it we have tried to neutralize everything now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a concealer that matches my skin tone for that i will go with my trusted and my most favorite concealer which is the fit me maybelline fit me concealer i will apply it like i'm not gonna apply it really like near to my lash line remember that because i don't want it to cake up so i'm just gonna apply it around like here not too much a little dot here because that's where it dips into a dark circle and then over here remember I'm not swiping it I'm using it in a stippling motion like doing dab 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 remember okay and I'm taking it on my like the side of my nose as well like this okay just gonna blend it here and then I'm going to take it a little higher can you see like this area a little higher not all the way up a little higher so I will look up okay, there you go see my dark circle is concealed now I'm going to just set it with powder not too much powder just very small amount Okay guys, so I am back with my finished look. This is how you prepare your under eyes for makeup. May it be like just everyday makeup or a party makeup. This is how you're going to prepare your under eyes for makeup. By doing this, your eyes are not going to feel dry or they're not going to look cakey during the whole occasion or the whole day. So yes, do follow this routine and let me know how it worked for you guys. Uh, so with this, I'm going to sign off. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I did bring something to the tables. So thank you so much guys for supporting me, for showing your love, for liking my videos. It really means a lot, a ton. So lot thank you so much to all of you and with that i'm just going to wrap up this video um i will see you in the next video real real soon till then stay safe stay happy and stay connected bye bye love you all